Hey guys, it's Amy, and this is part three of my makeup collection. So in this stacker thing, in this drawer, it, this is my NARS eyeshadow drawer. So back here, um, I can't even really see. These are all my duos and trios, larger palettes. Um, up here are some of the ones that I made myself. Cream shadows, up here are singles. This whole drawer is full of NARS. And if you're interested in this drawer, um, I have several videos on my NARS collection, so you can check that out. Um, and then right here, I'll just show it because it doesn't really have a home yet. This is that Tarte um, palette with the eyeshadows. Um, it came with other things too, but I just have the eyeshadows in there right now. I just keep it tucked back here because it doesn't have a home. And then this is my MAC eyeshadow drawer. And again, it's just overrun. I, you can't even... The lighting sucks. You can't really see very well. But I have all of these in videos also. I have videos like of my MAC palettes, my singles, um, pigments, um, just kind of random potted ones still, paint pots, all of those are in different videos. So that is that drawer. And the next thing that I wish to show you is over here, and it's in this um, Vera Wang Princess box. And this is a really nice sturdy box, so I keep part of my makeup in here. And in this part, I keep all of my Chanel eyeshadows. So these are my five, um, what are they called? You know, the Diambre Illusion. Um, I have five of those. And then underneath there, um, I have this larger palette by Chanel that I really love. It's maybe appeared in videos, I'm not sure. But it comes with lips, concealer, blush, eyeshadow, pretty taupes and purples, and just, it, this is a great palette. That's the name of it if you're so inclined to get it. <clears throat> I probably got it uh, over a year ago. If you want to know the colors that I have, I have Iblui. And I'm probably saying all these wrong. Epitant, Destination, which was limited edition, I think. Riviere, which was limited edition, I think. And Apparition, which was limited edition, I believe. And then over here are my Chanel Singles. And just quickly, the colors that I have are Amethyst, Lotus, um, Taupe Gris, or Taupe Gris, I don't know how you say it, and Bamboo. Oh, and then one more. Um, Deep Taupe. And then down here are my Chanel Quads. And I have, oops making a mess. I have five of them. I have Spices, number 79. Um, Garden Party, number 86. If you want to see these closer or whatever, let me know. Um, <coughs> Rose and Voldy, number 31. Nymphia, 74. Lilium 32, that's a really pretty one with the greens. And that is it on those guys. So, those are my Chanel eyeshadows. And then, <clears throat> in this little basket, I have my YSL shadows. So I have one um, quint in number two. It's the purple one. This is very pretty, I'll show you. Um... You can get this at Sephora, or probably wherever they sell YSL. 
sparkly, but very, very pretty. I love that one. And then I have um, a cream shadow, a couple singles, some quads, and a lot of duos. Um, this is a cool one. It's called 62. It was the vinyl candy from, I think, last spring. I like that. Or summer. So those are the YSL. Again, if you want to see those um, in more depth, please let me know. And then here is my Chantecaille stuff. So these are my Chantecaille palettes. Um, the elephant one. Which is so cute. Um, I have the Bengali one down there. And then this one is the Tiger in the Wild palette. Looks like this with the tiger face is so cute. So Chantecaille is a really great brand if you are looking to expand your brands or whatever. Um, the shadows are really, really soft and pretty and, I don't know, perfectly pigmented. Um, and they wear nice. Yeah, I would recommend them totally. So anyways... That is part three of my little makeup collection. Sorry that I have to do it in so many parts. Um, but we're getting we're getting through it slowly but surely. So and if like I said, if you want to see anything like closer up or if you want any reviews on any of these things, just um, let me know. But one thing I wanted to say about storage is like a box like this is so nice because it is really sturdy. And it can hold a lot of stuff. And then I just got these separator things from the dollar store. They were three for a dollar. And, I mean, this kind of all fits perfectly. Obviously, this part is a little lumpy, but uh, it's nothing terrible. So, um, yeah. I will be talking to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.